Bore da pop. Good morning, everybody. Christ on all, you Welsh bloke walking. Welcome back to Welsh bloke walking. Well, today I'm in a little village, Pentrebach, called Aberhwiler, that way. And I'm here on a quest. I don't even know if I'm going to find what I'm looking for. Why don't you join me? I'll explain. Well over half a century ago, the local railway line between Denby and Mould ran along this beautiful valley of Glancluid. The line ran along the valley between the main Denby and Mould road and this road. Most evidence of its existence is now gone, but I'm told that a section of the trackbed is still visible between the villages of Bodfari and Avon Wen, and a small section of that trackbed still contains some railway paraphernalia. So today, I hope to find it. The main road on the other side of the valley is fast and unpaved, so I've decided to use this quieter, more photogenic route instead. No sign yet of anything that could reasonably be called a track bed. As you may have heard, Wales has its very own fairy folk. They're known as the Tolwyth Teg, or the Fair Family. Now some people will try to tell you that they don't exist, that it's mere fairy stories. But don't believe them. The Tolwyth Teg most certainly do exist. And if you know where to look, you will find the evidence everywhere. In the distance, we can just about see the white tower of Bodfari Church, peeking out over the treetops. The acorn signs show that this is part of Cloud Offer, the Offer's Dyke Route. This path seems to be heading the right way, so I try it. No obvious track bed yet, but there is a little bridge over the Avon Huiler. The River Huiler is, of course, where the village of Aberhwiler gets its name. Aber means estuary or confluence in Welsh. It's where one body of water meets a bigger one. So Aberhwiler is the place where the Huiler meets the River Cluid.
The end of this lovely little path brings a surprise. We're on the main Denby to Mould Road, at the bottom end of Bodfarry. I decide to follow the verge as far as I can, seeking access to the middle section. But both the verge and the pavements run out at the now defunct Downing Arms pub. There are few things as sad as the fading away of a once popular pub. There's nothing for it now but to retrace my steps back to the Cloud Office signpost. Now to pick up where I left off. After some time, I at last come across a footpath heading in the right direction. As I look down into the valley, well, that looks like an old track bed to me. All we need now is an access point. Emerging out of the bracken that now covers the track bed is a classic railway plate layers hut. but it appears to now be on private land. The hut is definitely still in use, but there appears to be no access at all to the rail bed. Hmm, this calls for a creative solution. Well, after some probably illegal hedge hopping, I find myself on the track bed at last. Now when you're on a track bed, you might expect to find the odd rail or two, but you don't expect to find something like this. The carriage is apparently owned by the little known Denby and Mould Junction Railway Heritage Trust. Their attempts to reopen the line as a heritage railway were strangled at birth by Denby County Council after landowners kicked off about having to give back the land they had, um, acquired. Not wanting to end on a sad note, here's some unrelated footage of the prettiest cow I have ever seen. As cows go, there's an incredibly pretty one. Oh, she's coming to say hello. 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 Who does your makeup? <laughs> well, Diolch Paub, thanks for joining me on my quest. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and share with your friends. It really does help the channel. Until next time, Huil Vaurichi.